So there was a before book uh, video that I made on the, the uh, real analysis books that I was going to use. I don't know how many books I had in the video, maybe 10, but really, and I'm going to keep to the theme from now on that at the end of a, co a self-teaching course, after I've taught myself as much as I could, I'm only going to talk about the f last, the best four books. There's not going to be a fifth book or six. And so here I think are what I call the best four books that I use for real analysis. And um, so, of course, we're in the classic, uh, very cryptic, but also incredible examples, incredibly accurate examples, good examples. And so I use the examples a lot. I read from it, but unfortunately I find Rudin style to be very cryptic. And so I only read from it after I had learned the concept or think I did from Wade or other sources. And that is, I think, an unfortunate aspect of Rudin that I don't think any of us will solve. Uh, Rudin has some topology and so does Wade. Uh, the usual cycle of uh, series and continuity differentiation integration then do it all over for se uh, uh, several variables. In the case of Rudin, he puts in a lot of se uh, a lot of special functions in separately. Um, then also has differential forms, a lot of it, and has Lebesgue theory, which I did not go into. Uh, in the case of Wade, of course, if you've seen any of my videos, uh, you you've seen this book a million times. And so, real sy number system sequences continuity differentiation and integration, then infinite series, then do do it again in multi multi-dimensional, ending with Fourier series and some differential geometry, differential manifolds. Integration R to the N, differentiation R to the N, some metric spaces, very interesting. Uh, Stokes theorem, which ha I have to revisit. Uh, and so yeah, R to the N, Euclidean spaces, great book. Uh, if you can, if you watch other videos in my channel, you will see uh, many details about this book. And so I don't think I want to go into it anymore. There's plenty of videos on my channel about this book. Uh, so I'll leave it at that. But I found the book to be great, a great read. Uh, difficult because it, it 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 is it treats the subject at a diff at a higher level than say uh, some of the I don't know what I would call the baby real analysis books like uh, Bardo and Sherbert which is a great book, but I ended up not using it at all for this. Uh, and I think that's more for a second round where I'll go and do a bunch of problems in Bardo and Sherbert. Uh, then, in the case of when things got uh, difficult with, uh, with uh, vector analysis, I use these two books. They, they complement each other, but I, I want to I wanna highlight both of them because I did use both of them. Uh, Prater and Murray has a lot of uh, difficult problems, difficult examples. Uh, that's again for another se for a second round for me to come back uh, and do a bunch of problems. Definitely do a bunch of problems. Uh, I found the book very useful. Then in the case of uh, Marsden and Tromba, in this case also the same thing as Prater and Mori. Some great examples. I kept going back to them, and in a second round, this will be a source of many problems for me. Uh, I got really lucky with this particular copy. The book is completely spanking brand new, even though I bought it used. And so yeah, it's got everything R to, R to the end, vector calculus. Yeah, great book. And so those are my four books uh, that I used for real analysis. Uh, and of course, uh, there, is a, there is a planned second round in which I would do uh, many more problems.